I'm Angela Stribling here with a very talented vocalist, Liz Wright. For the first time, welcome to the Capital Jazz Fest. Thank you. Thank are, you so much. Are you excited? I am. Yeah? I am. This is a beautiful lineup to be a part of. And, yeah, uh, it sure is. Yeah, it's a real honor. One of my favorite lineups ever. Mm. And uh, so here we are, the crowds are forming, people are ready, and I know you've got a new project out, Grace. Yes, yes. Last September we came out with Grace, uh, produced by my friend Joe Henry. And uh, it's, you know, mostly covers, and uh, it's a really interesting mix of songs, yeah. Beautiful. And Liz, I'm sure people don't know how to describe your music. I mean, you come from gospel, and people say, I guess you could say you're a, a mix of jazz and folk, and, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what else. How do you describe your song, your sound? You know, Angela, I, I'm a lover of American music. I love the way the music tells the story of how we all ended up here and how we've influenced one another. Um, but I especially like um, that my father kind of raised me in like a storytelling tradition. So that's really where I see it from. And I'm interested in where all of these tributaries kind of meet, you know, in the big river of like the American experience as I know it. And I, I like to sing that. Um, I also seem to be covering a lot of uh, Canadian artists too, like Neil Young and Rose Cousins and Katie Lang. What's that um, about? I don't know. They write great songs. <laughs> okay, well, they write great, great songs. As a songwriter, I just you know, a songwriter, I see myself as a kind of storyteller. And you know, my father read to me, um, you know, Shakespeare and um, Uncle Remus stories and. He could switch gears so easily, so I think my eclecticism is his fault, you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I mean, you have such a calm, peaceful, beautiful demeanor. You. Your spirit is always so calm, and that comes through in your music as well. So what do you do? Do you meditate? What's your, what's your routine? I mean, I, I used to be very, um, gosh, disciplined about all those things, but now I'm just trying to get up and, you know, go to work on time. I, I decided recently that I, I enjoyed and I missed um, serving people. So I really like uh, making food and growing food and and serving because I think, you know, what I hear and what I see and what I feel is always, you know, material for the next song or project. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I've got a blue collar life and I've got a stage life. And I think that's I think that, that rhythm is good for me. I think that's a good <laughs> rhythm. You say you grow your own food, so you have a garden. I do, I do. I, I, get, I grow some food and some ornamentals, and uh, I'm always looking for a patch of dirt, you know. I love that. <laughs> now, does this your Georgia roots, is that, that has something to do with that? Yeah, you know, I come from a family of, you know, gardeners and sharecroppers, and it's, the relationship with the earth has always been a way for us to, to be present, you know, to be where we are. I think there's two things you know, that we have going for us is that, you know, the whole family can sing, which is another way to make yourself at home anywhere, and we can grow food. And I just thought, man, I'm not going to be the first generation of my family that can't grow food, you know, so they're both, to me, just ways to be present. You know? It's tradition yeah. in your family. I yeah. love that. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people know of you, know of your music, but a lot of people kind of don't know Liz Wright, the person. Uh -huh. So what two things would you say that you would like for your fans to know about you that maybe they don't or haven't had an opportunity to see in your bio? Uh, gosh, um, I have enormous feet and I think my feet help me sing. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I do. How do they do. help you sing? I just is something about like feeling, you know, grounded and planted and I often have difficult time singing with shoes on and I'm very particular about the shoes I get because I often need to be a flat footed. But I, I started to think lately like maybe that's part of what's happening is singing is a very physical experience for me. But yeah, I wear like size 12, 13. Do you? But you're yeah. so tall though, you I've, need to. There are taller folks than me who like just don't have the, you know, the, the flipper thing going but on. We're but fine. I, I <laughs> we're not think, judging. Oh, I, I, you know, they remind me of my family and they, they make me happy, but Love definitely it. I think Somehow uh, singing is so physical, so aerobic, and I just, I need to be firmly planted, you know, so. I have big feet. That's, that's number one. <laughs> and number two? Oh, uh, gosh. Um, I have a cafe in Chicago, and I serve food, and I'm there, like, all the time. Like, nice. it's, uh, it's really fun to, to meet people who have no idea what I do. 
um, outside of that world and to just see if I can make something that they appreciate without making a sound. Like, it's a real challenge for me. I've leaned on this instrument a lot, you know, to People make have friends, come to, to lean on you for that. Yes. Yeah, and it's, it's the one place where I feel, you know, instantly like a part of everybody else and to challenge myself to create another offering with a voice that just doesn't make noise, you know, oh. is, uh, is scary and exhilarating. Another voice. Yeah. Can you imagine you're in a restaurant, you go in there, you're getting ready to order, and you roll up on Liz Wright, <laughs> and she's serving you. <laughs> I love, what is the name of the cafe? Uh, Carver 47, it's in honor of Dr. George Washington Carver, and yeah. So when you're in Chicago, you know where to go. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, come by, hang out. <laughs> so are you, are you on social media? Do you interact with your fans that way? So tell them how to connect with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I'm, I have a Liz Wright fan page. Um, I have Carver 47 page, um, and I have a Liz Wright website. So everyone knows, you know, kind of where to find me. And, you know, Angela, I, as I get older, I keep thinking, you know, I came from a place where the people like had access to me and we were interacting and the music really comes from the relationship with folks and with the rhythm of everyday life so I'm going back to that yeah, you know it, it makes me nervous sometimes but it's it's so inspiring there's really nothing more inspiring than just you know dealing with people so I never want like you know the music or the being known to take me away from them you know so beautiful Liz Wright, thank you so much. It's, it's pleasure. such a pleasure having you for the first time, not the last, at Capital Jazz Fest. Very, very nice. Make sure you pick up her new CD. It's called Grace, and you are going to love it. I'm Angela Stribling here with the amazing Liz Wright for Capital Jazz TV. Hi, this is Liz Wright, and you're watching Capital Jazz TV.